up dr lutz my associate professor in the department of computer science and engineering i'm going to take the topic selenium introducing the web server drivers and web elements for the subject software testing and so selenium so selenium web driver is a programming interface it can be used to create and execute test cases it allows you to test across all major programming languages browsers and operating so what is a web drive web driver so web driver is a mediator something that allows two things to interact it's nothing but an interface so one of them has an interesting and useful thing that we cannot get their point access you need selenium web driver access an interpreter it allows your code to communicate with the different browser drivers so when you use selenium to run tests the test cases are created using element locators you can locate the elements using selenium locator technique it can perform an actions so we would use selenium web driver remote web driver so as the name in implies that it implements selenium web driver interface browser classes chrome driver firefox driver etc extend the remote web drivers so components of the web driver ide then rc remote calls web driver and grid um, control uh, server serves selenium commands you can test your program interpret the and report results back to the program The web browser is injected with the selenium core which interprets and executes the selenium commands using the test script so the web browser interacts with the web server accordingly so this setup complicates the architecture and takes additional time for execution so the web elements are is web element is selenium is essentially html element on a website html documents consist of html elements So what the HTML element will consist of? Each HTML element consists of a start tag and the end tag. The content lies between the tags. So the example is given: clear void, so web element, the equals object, so a boolean, so find element, so a web element, find elements by argument from the list of elements. You can get the attributes, so which is declared as the string. Then you can get the location. then get the cascade sheet uh, style sheet value you can get the tag name you can get the text then you can even get the hash code so you can check whether it is displayed or enabled or not disabled so it's selected or not you can notify you can send the keys you can submit it so you can wait for that so the web element you can write web element element equal to driver dot web element you can uh, so you can find it by using the so the code is given the boolean status whether it is displayed or not 